Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure that you're all comfortable, all is well in your world. The lights are just right in your room. You're ready to lay down and relax and be still and quiet. Maybe you can close your eyes and listen to the story if you want to, or you can leave your eyes open. It's up to you. Regardless, this is time to chill out. This is your time to be still and calm. No more running around. Quiet time. Quiet time with Kari, okay? Now, Heidi, Cherry and Vea were all preparing for Valentine's Day. Heidi had already got a very pretty card with a love art on the front that was fluffy from Lincoln. And it said inside, roses are red, violets are blue, you are a pretty cat and I love you. She was very happy with it. Cherry was making love arts and cutting them out with safety scissors, of course, for Heidi and Vea. And she was having lots of fun. She was using sprinkles and pom-poms and crayons and glue. It was an explosion of crafts and arts and she was in her element. She was singing away. La 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 la, this is so much fun. I love doing arts and crafts. It makes me so happy. Vea was on the other side of the room. Little did Heidi and Cherry know, but Vea was putting something together that was very, very special. Her gift to them for Valentine's Day. She'd been over there, just humming away for quite some time, when eventually she came over to Heidi and Cherry and said, "Mm, Me would like you both to sit Me has something very, very special to show how much I love you both. Me is ready. Are you ready? She said. Both Heidi and Cherry nodded. Cherry said, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, I'm super excited. What is it? Is it like a box of chocolates? Or is it like uh, flowers? Or is it like uh, ooh, some puffy, puff, puffy or fluffy? Uh, oh, I've always wanted them fancy fluffy pink slippers. Is it them? I'd like a pair of them for Valentine's Day. Heidi said, Cherry, just be quiet. Let's see what she's done for Valentine's Day. Just be quiet. So they both sat and watched Vea. Vea was dressed in her most favoritist, favoritist princess outfit. Her latest favorite was blue. And it had tiny, tiny little white plastic. They were like beads plastic beads that looked just like clouds all over it so the dress was blue like a sky blue and it had these plastic little clouds all over it and she loved it she was wearing it with a blue tiara with a big white cloud in the middle and she had white long gloves on and white princess slippers (coughs) me ready are you ready Vea said. Everyone sat quietly and watched and listened. And Vea started to sing. Me love princesses. Me love the sky. Me love tiaras and rainbows and marshmallows. Me love princess shoes. But most of all, me love you. And she did a big spin and a turn. And then she bowed. And then quickly stood back up and started singing the second verse. 
me love pink and purple and blue me love roses me love you once again she bowed did a little curtsy come back up very quickly and did another verse me love the Glittery shoes, me love. Taffy and toffy and candy floss, and most of all, me love you. <sighs> and she bowed, curtsied and stayed down this time. Both Heidi and Cherry stared at each other. Wow, said Heidi. That was amazing. Cherry still had her mouth open. OMG, Vaya! Where did you learn to write songs so good? OMG! That was like the bestie song ever! That was like that was like as good as, as Ed. You know how I like Ed Sheeran. That was just as good as some of his songs. OMG, you should be like a pop star or something. That was absolutely fantabidozy. Oh my goodness, amazing. Veo was very proud. Her little cheeks went a bit pink. She was a little bit embarrassed at, at how... They were responding to her awesomeness, but at the same time, she was proud because she knew she was a really good songwriter, and she knew she was a really good singer, and to just hear people say it was very, very nice. Even though, sometimes when you know something, it doesn't matter whether people like it or not. As long as you think it's awesome, it doesn't really matter. But in this case... Vea was pleased that her sisters liked her singing and that they liked her awesomeness when it comes to writing songs. She bowed once again. I think, me thinks, I think that it was probably the blue dress that helped me sing so good today because this blue dress, the cloud dress, the walking cloud dress, is my favourite, and it always makes me feel really magical. Me is magical when I wear my favourite princess dress, and me thinks that my blue cloud dress really helped me to show you how much I love you on Valentine's Day. I think that my song really, really said it all, don't you guys? Cherry said, well, <laughs> yeah, of course, because it was like awesome. It was the bestest song I've ever heard. And yeah, I feel really loved. It was like the bestest, bestest, bestest Valentine gifts anyone could have ever, ever given me. Singing like that was much better than these love arts I'm making, even though they're going to be great. I think that that song was amazing. Yes, I feel loved. Very loved. Heidi said. Me too. That was really, really nice, Vea. I look forward to next Valentine's Day when hopefully you'll sing another song for us. Ooh! Me needs to go practice right now, said Vea, and she ran off to the other room, this time to go practice her next year's Valentine's song. Cherry went back to her arts and crafts, Cutting away at the love arts, she decided she needed to step up her game just a little bit and stick on extra glittery things this time. Just because, you know, Vaya's song was so awesome. She wanted her cards to be just as good somehow, if possible. And Heidi closed her eyes and decided that she was just going to maybe have a little nap. A nap about Lincoln. Handsome, crossfit Lincoln. 
She sighed <sighs> with her eyes closed and thought about his fun dabby dozy pectoral muscles. How sweet and kind he was. How she loved the cord and the fact that it said he loved her was extra, extra special. Before you know it, Heidi was fast asleep. In her dream, she was holding on to a piece of string. And when she looked up, it was a balloon, a really, really big, giant, bright pink love heart balloon. Her whole body just relaxed as she started to float up to the clouds. She had a little paw wrapped around the string so she could just relax and kind of let go and be floated away by love. Being in love. What a wonderful feeling. A heart, a little cat heart swelled and pumped ba-bum 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 went her heart as she thought about Lincoln's sweet whiskers as he smiled his perfect eyes his cute little ears she floated higher and higher and relaxed even more. The whole body got limp and soft and heavy and the balloon just kept taking her higher. As she looked around in the sky, all the clouds were pink. The sun was pink. She looked down and the world below was all different shades of pink. Love was everywhere. She floated higher and higher and higher and relaxed even deeper and deeper and deeper till eventually she found herself bobbing around out there in the universe holding on to a giant pink love heart balloon with Lincoln, right there next to her, holding onto his own balloon. And they just bobbed around the stars and the planets and looked down at Earth below. Everything was pink. Everything was shiny and glittery. Everything felt like love. Love was in the air. What a wonderful dream, she thought. Ah. 